Hello, my dear friends. Marhaba, komohtan. This is Hafaz from Hafaz Percussion. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Ahlan wa sahlan. Bienvenido. In today's video, I'm going to be very quick. I hope so. And I'm going to talk about the rick. In this case, I have three, the ricks. Um, if you didn't watch my previous videos, go ahead and watch them because there is one of them. There are several with the rick, but there is one where I'm talking uh, uh, deeply about the rick and I'm giving you uh, some history behind this amazing instrument. Uh, in this case, I have three different uh, ricks from different makers. This is Ghassan. This is my newest. Uh, it is uh, mahogany wood with what we call Sadaf or Safad. Depends the country. And you can see his name over here in Arabic. And uh, he made this specifically uh, the way I asked him to. It's, uh, he's an amazing percussionist and maker. I also got a doombak from him. Uh, you've seen the doombak in my, others, uh, my other videos. If you didn't watch them, I recommend that you go ahead and watch. And I also have the keyboard with mahogany wood. And my third is the uh, Nakhli from Elias Nakhli, phenomenal, amazing maker and percussionist. Okay? Now, uh, when it comes to the rick, it is a handheld instrument. Uh, I'm righty, so I'm holding the instrument with my left. It used to be made of a uh, fish head, and they will fit that fish head to the frame. They will glue it. Uh, to make it, uh, you know, sharp. In order to produce, uh, you know, sharp sound from it, we used to heat it. Uh, same thing with lamb or goat skin. Now, uh, nowadays, we have these modern ones. This is the three of them. They are mahogany wood and uh, the zils or sanjet or sajet are made of brass. Uh, now, why I use these three? To be honest with you, they are my number one, all of them, the three of them. Uh, my latest, as I mentioned, is Ghassan. This is the one with the, with the, the mother pearl, as you can see. I'm going to get closer, and, and it's, it's an amazing artwork. This is his name in Arabic. And uh, if I keep going, just to show you, you'll end up seeing my name right here, Hafez Percussion. Amazing blue mother pearl, green, uh, gray, white. It's phenomenal, guys. Even from the inside, he he put all of it uh, with the mother pearl. And uh, mother pearl, I'm sorry. And by the way, it's not heavy, so that's the mystery behind it. You can, you know, shake it, play it. Amazing. All of these instruments, they are not. I mean, the 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 heaviest I will say is uh, the nakhli because it's bigger. This is at 25 centimeters, and you can still my, my, see the shadow behind, yes? It's beautiful, and from the inside. Also, Nakhli put uh, his name here. Back then, he didn't put your names, or my name in this case, and now he is able to do that. So the difference, that the Nakhla one, or Elias Nakhli, is 25 centimeters. These two are 23. Uh, that's why that one is a little... Uh, uh, heavier but still phenomenal instruments so i really guys i really recommend the three of them of course among others but these are my uh, number one these three makers now what are we talking about today the sama'i thaqil so 10 8 rhythmic cycles we use the sama'i thaqil sama'i comes from sama uh, specifically we call it the principle of the rhythmic cycle when it comes to the sama'i uh, a form of music or type of music or also we call the tarab or the muashahad um, genre uh, very famous muashah lamma bada yatathanna i'm sure you heard the melody if you are a musician out there if not the melody goes like that <laughs> Aman, 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 habbi jamal fatanna. Aman, 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 aman. So, ten, eight. Where are the dooms, guys? If we counted one to ten, 
the dooms are in one, six, and seven. Write it down. One, six, and seven. Where are the tucks? Four and eight. So if I'm playing in one hand, this is my dominant. I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now in between the dooms and the tacks, we have what we call the secti or secta or is or s or silencio, which is the rest. Now we always, most of the time, personally, I fill in the rest with tax or tax tax or what we call taka. Uh, now taka became famous, uh, you know, worldwide. But when we write that the taka is your basically upper hand. In this case, if it's a rick, this is my upper or your uh, non-dominant hand. Let's say this one. Uh, the dominant hand will play the dominant uh, downbeat and the dominant tuck, or the doom and the dominant tuck. The left, in my case, will play this upper tuck, let's call it. Or if you're holding the rick, it will be your lower, uh, opposite of the doom back. If you're holding a doom back, the left will be your upper. In this case, your upper is your right because you are up and this is your left under. Okay? So just to correct that. Now, Unless you play them muted, so they are next to, uh, next to each other if you play them in a muted or classical form, like I'm doing right now. Now they are together, next to each other, not on top or above each other. Now, what's in between with the rests? We can do a lot. We can play a lot of stuff. Imagine me resting. Nine, ten, and now, see? So basically what I'm doing, I'm filling those rests with more sound. As an example, wahda. Okay? Or even if I'm playing the sama'i and I'm filling those uh, extra rests with the zils. See what I'm playing? Now notice that I played the last time with the middle finger, the dooms and the tax. So personally, guys, I know some of you might ask, Hafez, how do you play the doom? So personally, I alternate between index, ring, and middle. Index, middle, ring in this case. I said index, uh, ring, then middle, while I was showing you the middle instead. You get my point. So. Uh, it depends what uh, form of music I'm playing, what rhythmic cycle I'm playing, uh, where am I performing? Is it uh, classical music? It's an upbeat music. Is it very strong? Is it very classy, very soft? So I'll alternate. And when it comes to the tax, the same thing as well. I alternate between the middle or the edge, the ring. When it comes to the zills, uh, we have all these three fingers to use, pinky, ring, and middle. This is my left and my right, the same thing. You can use the pinky, ring, middle, and index. So if I'm doing double, let's say, da -da 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 and you go faster, it'll become a roll. Uh, hopefully you'll hear that clearly. So uh, I'm using um, four fingers total, uh, middle, index, ring, middle. Okay, of course I can use more with the, using the pinky and all the four fingers in your dominant hand. Now, most of the time, guys, you'll you'll hear me if you hear the videos where I'm performing, playing the Samai Taqil in the classical form or way. Let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, uh, can we do more ornamentations, Hafez? Yes, you can. Now, always I suggest uh, to take it easy, uh, our job is about being the heartbeat of music. So we don't have to play and do a lot of embellishments, a lot of ornamentations. Please try to do when when you can, when it's necessary. Don't be too busy. Uh, do it when you feel like, yes, I should do it. So we make everyone happy. We don't want to be too loud all the time. we got to alternate between... The classical or or 
or so you get my point i hope this video helped you and uh the others uh, that they didn't watch and they will watch soon uh, i will ask you to please subscribe and like my videos this is my way of sharing my knowledge and cultures with you forgive me if i uh, did record this is considered uh, to me a long video but i wanted to share with you uh, part of my knowledge and what i know when it comes to uh, percussion specifically in this case you see behind me the, some latin and some uh, middle eastern or arabic instruments in the future i'll talk about the other ones and the maker if i forget please remind me by writing it in the comment thank you guys and i look forward to seeing you in the next one ciao bye bye